Hi guys, it's me Marty. Welcome to this week's edition of First Impression Friday. So today I have a uh, interesting find. Um, I never thought I'd be reviewing this brand, but I am reviewing Morphe by Jeffree Star. What is it called? Creative Palette? Oh, the Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. So this is the palette I'm reviewing today. It is a collaboration with Jeffree Star and Morphe. Um, I've had my issues with Jeffree Star in the past, so I feel like this is actually a good way to kind of get acquainted with his um, products. Real quick, before I throw you to the test out and all that, I want to talk about packaging with y'all here first. So hold on a minute. This one is 36 palettes. No, I'm sorry, 30 palettes. I keep saying 36. I don't know how I counted 36 the first time. This is the actual box itself. I mean, I took the box off this actual package and I wanted to kind of compare it to the other Morphe palettes because I want to show y'all how much they changed the palettes to fit Jeffree Star. I've never bought a collaboration palette from them, but I have seen them. And I know that every creator puts their own little spin on it. Like I saw Manny and UA is coming out with the uh, marble. I don't know what difference James Charles original one was. I know it was just black. I know it was black and they, he just kind of signed the top is what I thought it said, but I could be wrong. But anyway, so this is this palette. This is a regular Morphe palette. So right off the bat, you can see Jeffrey definitely put his stamp on it with it being pink. The reflective uh, silver in there is, is beautiful. But really, I want to talk about the inside of the palette because this is, okay, insane. So this palette, look at it, y'all. They did two things in this palette that I have been wanting Morphe to do forever. Part one, a mirror. This is what all of the Morphe palettes look like at the top, pretty much. This one actually has Morphe Babe. The old ones didn't have anything. It was just black. So this, for them to have a mirror, when you have this many pans, this big of a palette and no mirror, it makes no sense. So this one is a little high of a price point. I think these are usually like, what, $30? No, $18. No, $30. So it's a little bit higher, but not by a lot. The pans themselves, look at this. So the pans are way bigger. Um, they're not circles, they're squares. I don't know if that makes that much of a difference to me. I don't really care. But the biggest thing for me, God, the names are actually under the pan. If you saw me do the, my last tutorial, I can't remember what it was, but I'll put a link for it up here. With this palette, it is so difficult if you are reviewing it or, um, you know, explaining to somebody how to use it. The names are on the plastic that you take off to use it. What am I supposed to do with that? Like, you might as well not even put this if you're going to do that. This one, on the other hand... It does have a clear protector on it. Whoops. Oh, crap. I stuck my finger in a pan. Damn. It does have a clear protector on it, but this one actually has the names on the bottom of the pan. It's directly on printed onto the palette itself. I just, y'all, to say something like that should make that much of a difference. If you are shooting a video, if you are just trying to teach someone how to use it, it's so much easier to actually have the actual names on the palette so if you want to know what i think about this palette or how i use it to get this look today much different look for me but i thought i owed this palette a little bit of wild and crazy so or what i rate it as you can just keep on watching thanks okay guys so i have my primer on faces prime and all that stuff eyebrows are done clearly carved out everything um i have these dutch braids that it is so difficult for me to make dutch braids y'all it's ridiculous and then on top of that I got in an accident um, a week and some change ago, so my back is like all messed up. So trying to braid it, and since it's gotten longer, it's so hard. Anyway, so this is my true, true first impressions of this palette. So I always um, look at the palette first with um, when I shoot the intro and the outro of it, when I swatch and everything, but I've already used it by that time. So these, when I start to actually play with the makeup is the first time I'm actually seeing it so. I'm excited. Let's talk packaging first. So pink, pink, pink. I heard Jeffrey, I think, describe this as business Barbie. And I see that Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. Okay. Oh, there's a little message. Hold on. Let me see. Hi, how are you? We all know I live for making bold statements, especially with my makeup. The world needs color and I'm serving it up by the pound. I'm so excited to once again create magic with Morphe and bring this beyond stunning palette of velvety, vivid shades to light and into your hands. All Jeffree Star approved, all created for you. One touch and you'll be hooked. So dive in and explore your creativity. Love and lipstick, Jeffree Star. Um, that's the box. 
nice picture on the back which i kind of i think i saw his review on it and he said sickening picture on the back and it's nice came in bubble wrap thank you ulta i got mine from ulta i don't know where everybody else got theirs i actually had a gift card actually funny story about that my dad gave me the gift card from uh from ulta and here's the thing for christmas that meant so much to me because my dad hates ulta but he knows i love it he did this last year he like snuck out and went get the uh gift card at ulta a couple years ago and i just i was dying laughing about it because he hates that store he hates it um anyway so here it is beautiful the i, I like the color of it it's fun it's cute it's pink as jeffree star pink everything um super cute i'm sorry if my braids look kind of ratchet from the side y'all oh, but again i couldn't really braid it correctly because of my back so i'm opening it up now for the first time i like the holographic look oh okay so this is the palette itself it's beautiful of course um it has a mirror the names are too much the first row is welcome back to my channel why noise <laughs> It's so pretty. So these are the colors. There are so many different ones that I don't own that I don't have anything that looks like them. So I'm very interested to play with it. Is there a... Oh, there is. Okay, so there's a... Okay, my darlings. So starting with this beautiful palette. It's so big. I can't put my... You can't both be in it at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to start by going in with Mr. Diva. No, maybe Channel. Yeah, we're going to do Channel. So Channel is going to be my transition shade, which if you look channel and the one i was going to use i uh originally channel and mr diva they look very very similar i can't wait to swatch them though i think maybe mr diva is slightly lighter um but i'm gonna go with channel for transition using that big fluffy bogache brush not a lot of kick up i'm surprised because almost every palette i've used in the last maybe two or three months has had a ton of kick up channel does not have a lot of kick up so I'm going to go with this big, huge, beautiful mirror and I'm just going to kind of, yeah, okay. The pigment is like, oh, I wanted to not like this palette. Y'all just don't know how much I wanted to not like this palette. Again, this is channel and I have to say as far as Morphe, first of all, this formula, whatever it is, just dipping it, uh, brushing it on the formula is so different. It's like, it's like almost tackier, like Morphe, I find I have to go back and forth a lot and I have to go and fix it again and some more back and forth and all that. And I just, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to stretch my eye a little bit and just kind of, so yeah, just right off the bat, this formula, I don't know if this is a new thing Morphe is going to do permanently, but if it's not Morphe, y'all should really consider it because just the application is a lot easier than it used to be. So I, I've always heard people talk about how Jeffree Star's formula is just amazing and insane and like his eyeshadows are so great and whatever whatever but i don't i don't know well what, I'll, I'll get into that so i'm gonna go with boss angeles which i'm sure y'all probably figured that's gonna be my crease color today boss angeles with a really pretty like um sienna kind of brown again no hardly any fallout that is crazy i can't tell you the last time i had a, a palette that didn't have a lot of fallout um so i've never purchased oh <laughs> I was not expecting that color to be that bright. I don't know. Is it because? Is that why there's no fallout? Because these these colors are so insane. Like, what the? Who's? Okay. Let me gather my thoughts here. I've never purchased a Jeffree Star palette. I never thought I would. Just because, again, I've had a lot of issues with Jeffree Star that I didn't, like, things I didn't like or agree with that he's done or said. Uh, the obvious one being, you know, the controversy a couple years ago with the N-word. Um... But watching the Shane Dawson documentary, I watched the second one. I watched The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. Um, and it was interesting and it kind of, it made me not hate him as much, to say the least. This palette, so far, everything, I've, the two colors I've used have been two of the most pigmented shades that I have ever used. And both of these are mattes as well, just so y'all know. I don't know if y'all, if it's coming across, but... Both of these, y'all. So if y'all didn't see what I did, I used this SL Miss Glam brush just to stamp the color on since I didn't expect it to be quite that pigmented. Then I'm using this NYX Professional Makeup Brush, this crease brush to um, just kind of spread it out a little bit and make sure I'm pushing it up into my socket. So anyway, after watching The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star, I really saw his like love for makeup. And I went back after the first like two or three episodes, I went ahead and watched... Um, the first one that he did, like the first Jeffree Star series. And um, I, I realized watching it that, you know, hurt people hurt people. When he showed 
all of the cuts that he had and why he covered up all his tattoos, why he covered up his body with those tattoos and it was to cover all the cuts. It clicked in my head that I was like, that's a really sad, insecure dude. Like, it's crazy. And hearing his story and everything, I was like, okay, I, don't get it twisted. I'm not a Jeffree, I wouldn't consider myself a Jeffree Star fan by any stretch of the imagination. But I was like, okay, maybe I can give his products a shot. I'm going to be a little crazy and go with Calabasas, which is this really pretty um, like raisin rum color. I'm going to take a teeny tiny bit. I'm hoping it's not like this. I'm hoping it's like a, actually a little tiny bit. So now that I understand what's going on, I'm going to be a little more careful. I'm going to just tap, tap, tap. And again, no fallout. That's insane. Um, so I was like, okay, I can give his products a shot at least. I'm not going to, you know... I ain't gonna run around and get a Jeffree Star um, no tracksuit or anything, but I was like, I can at least give him a chance product-wise. Now, I've never owned a Jeffree Star palette before. I don't think I will for a while. I did really want the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson palette um, from the movie, from the movie, from the um, series. But I was like, well, first of all, okay, I'm gonna go with this big, huge Farrah brush, this Farrah like wide brush, and I'm gonna just blend all that together before I start on the lid, which I don't even... The possibilities with this palette, y'all, are like freaking endless as far as lit work goes. So anyway, so um, I watched that and I wanted the Shane Dawson, the Je Jeffree Star Saint Shane Dawson palette, like insanely bad. I think being invested in it made me really want it after watching it be created. And of course, you know, you can't find it anywhere. I wasn't going to, you know, be that person that stayed up all hours of the day trying to get trying to get it. I didn't like it that much. I just wanted it. So, um, but then I was like, okay, I saw the Morphe palette come out and I was like, that's beautiful. So I wanted it for Christmas. I didn't get it for Christmas. I got a gift card instead. So I used it to get this palette and it's easier for me to go with a Morphe collab because I feel like I'm not, it's not a direct, you know, Jeffree Star deal. So I'm okay with that, getting it from Morphe. But that being said, and I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but that being said, I um don't know. I've always heard that his formula is amazing, and I don't know if he has something to do with the change in this formula, but this formula in this palette is, like, way better than any of the other. I think I have, what, one, two, three, four, five Morphe palettes. This is far, far better than any of the formulas from the other five Morphe palettes I own. So let me go carve out the lid, and we'll get to lid work. So I have this orange look so far, and I am trying to figure out what I want to mess with first. So I love rolls with it. I love Glam Rapids. Millions, I feel like it's a necessity to put that somewhere on my eye today. So I know I'm cutting some sort of a crease here. Maybe I owe this palette to be really crazy for me and go and do some wild stuff. So I think I'm going to do millions on the lid and then design a label on the inner corner because it's just, I really want to play with millions. Millions is just to me outstanding and i'm wondering if i should have grabbed a glitter base oh it's not i thought it was gonna be like a um like a glittery jelly thing it's not it's just like straight up glitter and i don't know if it's gonna okay it is just a it's a glitter glitter like i saw it on tv not on tv i've seen oh okay okay i just didn't do okay i've seen people use it on tutorials and stuff and it looked like more of like a glittery gel glitter like i don't know this is not this this is not coming off like this is not on here you might need to apply with my finger i hate doing that but beauty calls honey okay yeah there we are there we are hi girl where you were hiding honey yeah definitely would be better with a glitter primer but again the first impression fridays i never want to uh i never want to uh I want to see what the, the product does on its own before I start, you know, adding and tweaking things. So glitter primer for this next time I wear it for sure. But it's beautiful, though. I don't like this. Uh, this. OK, not the formula, but the glitter itself. Like, first of all, I know just from looking at it now that I'm going to hit pan on that shade first because you have to like dig at it to get it out. Um, but this is the only, like, I wish it looked like this, on um, like this, see this on my eye. And it doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't, but, but in order to get it where I want it, my finger is just too doggone big to do that, y'all. Maybe I'll just leave it in the middle and then put something else on the outside, like wingy part. Millions is like the whole reason I purchased this palette or wanted to get this palette. So I'm a little annoyed with the fact that it's just like a glitter. I just expect it a little tiny bit more. So because of that, I'm going to now add drive-through, which is this green color. 
I'm gonna add that to the outside of it and then hopefully try to blend it all together. I don't know. Okay, yeah, see, Jeff, there's more of what I was going for. Again, I wanna make sure I'm saying this correctly. Like, Millions is not a bad color. It's just not what I was expecting it to be. I applied drive through first and then went back with uh, Millions over it. It would have been a different situation, but I just, again, I didn't know what to expect. So now I'm gonna go in with Designer Label, which is this beautiful pearl shade right here. Oops, sorry, Designer Label. And I'm gonna put that on the inside. And leave it to Jeffree Star to be different. Like I, I usually find that the mattes don't come across as pigmented as they look in the pan, but the shimmers usually are like super pigmented. This palette to me is backwards. Like I find the shimmers are not as insane as I was expecting them to be, but the um, palette, the, the uh, mattes are like beautiful. I'm gonna go back and sharpen up this crease because the cut crease, remember early was so cut for lack of a better term i'm gonna go back and try to kind of trace it out again because i just using my finger to apply millions messed up the really clean line i had so i'm gonna go back in i'm going to attempt to use this i no, this is an old brow brush from shani i'm gonna attempt to use that to pull out did i use calabasas for something earlier i did use calabasas for something earlier i just can't remember what it was i'm gonna go back in with calabasas which i think i must have used earlier as a crease color and i'm just gonna kind of that's pretty, even though it's not at all what I was planning to do. I kind of like it. Like Anastasia, as much as I love Anastasia, their products have a ton of fallout. So I just figure, you know, with colors this bold and this pigmented that it would have uh, had the same situation. It was thinner and outside, girl. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to go back in with Designer Label, this shimmery shade right here, and I'm going to put that in the brow bone. I love these names too, Los Angeles. I mean, designer label, nice. I'm also going to do something else. I want to go back in with, what was the crease color I used? Los Angeles, I think, that insanely bold crease color. And I want to kind of, not smoke, um, kind of, um, yeah, that's cool. Let me say too, I've never been able to with a palette, go back and like re-sharpen uh, a cut crease only because usually it'll get in the lid work and then it'll defeat the purpose of finding that line anyway. So this is the look so far. I'm going to go finish my look off. I'm going to do liner and lashes. I will be back with you guys to talk about the under eye look and to dot the tear duct. So, so far, so good. Okay guys, so I have now been concealed, color correct concealed. I've been foundationed and now I wanna go in and do an under eye look. I'm gonna go in and do a quick under eye looky doo doo before we get to uh before I uh highlight under and all that stuff under eye highlight and whatever. So I'm gonna go in with I wanna go in with um I'm gonna go back in with Boss Angeles. I actually really really love that color Boss Angeles. It's really pretty. That bright orange. Again, I'm gonna take a little bit because I learned my lesson last time. I'm gonna just go straight on the lash line using this pointed Vasanti brush. Which honestly, I th ooh, that's pretty. I didn't know how that was gonna look because it's orange. Um, this Vasanti brush, I think, was originally a crease brush, but I mean, you know, titles are in the eye of the beholder, and this beholder says no to that. So, okay, so we got the. Let me do a little bit more on this side because I really like this color. So again, I'm just going th um, through the eyelid. Ew, going under the, going along the brow line. Me. Over here, this is Los Angeles too, I think, and it's just not. I don't like this super harsh line right there. Okay, much. Oh, okay, better. Much, much, much better. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Shani Eye Slanted Eyeliner Brush, and I'm gonna go in with. Let's do Mogul, cause I feel like I used Los Angeles so many times. These names are like so. I love the names in this palette. So I'm gonna go with Mogul, which is this really, really pretty, like straight up blue violet purple. And I'm going to just drag my brush on it and I'm going to stamp right, oh, right on the lash line. Oh, wow. I want y'all to see this hot pink realness right here. It's insane. Very, very pretty. Very different mogul. Okay. I mean, feel how you want to feel about Jeffree Star. Dude can come up with some shades. Oh my God. Well, obviously we all know how he is with shade. But okay, and I'm gonna go back in with this same pointy Vasanti brush and I'm going to go in with, maybe I'll do two. Two, welcome back to my channel. So this is like a champagne -y, pinky 
Y'all know how I feel about tear ducts. I don't even have to tell y'all. I shouldn't have to tell y'all. A tear duct highlight can, you can rule the world. You can win the 2020 election with a tear duct highlight. As a matter of fact, in this election, I would vote for a tear duct highlight instead of our current, <laughs> instead of our current president and administration. Yeah, so I watched a bunch and I know Jeffrey, one of them, like I said, one of them, I don't want to, don't quote me on that. It might not be Jeffree Star, but someone said that you could use a lot of these as blushes and as highlighters. And based on this right here, I would say, yes, that is probably correct because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. And that one, again, was two. So uh, I've used a bunch of colors from this palette at this point. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with that beautiful um, I Am You Heart uh, brush, this gold faceted brush I used earlier. And I want to put a little bit more of designer label on the inside of my, of my uh, eyelid just because I just like that color. And I don't feel like it's getting a shine as much as it should. Okay, yeah, there we go. I just wanted to kind of fade it into millions. See that? And then fade millions into a uh, drive through, which I'm going to go back and put a little more of that too. Okay, so now that I'm kind of getting a feel for the palette, um, I do like all the colors. Uh, millions, I'm not going to lie, kind of did let me down a little bit. But now that I know what to do with it, like now that I'm, I understand what the formula is and how to use it, I'm pretty sure if you just use a glitter primer, it'll you know, take care of itself. Okay, so I'm gonna go and finish off my look and I'll be back to swatch it with you guys and to kind of talk more about it in a little bit, so. Okay guys, so this is the finished look for today. This is how the eyeshadow came out eventually. Um, this look is really different, but I really, really like it. Now it's time for my least favorite part of eyeshadow palette First Impression Fridays, the thousands of swatches. Okay, so there's 36 shades which means I'm gonna have a lot of swatches to do. I'm gonna have to do 18 on each arm. That's crazy, but I'll do it for y'all. So let's start, it, which is good because I didn't feel all the formulas. Actually, there are so many, I didn't get to try all of them, all of them out. So I'm excited to try this. So, and I just wanna show y'all, like I always do what we're doing here with the, oh, the formula is good. That's all I'm doing, that little tiny bit. So, all right, so we have welcome. back okay back is so close to my skin tone can't really see it too my channel okay so uh, these are the first five um i will say and i'm saying this because i find you know a lot of um influencers and people and brand owners and stuff they like to say that there's um nothing like whatever the new thing is but i will say this like these two to me i believe that's welcome and two are pretty similar so i'm gonna switch and do the other arm while i let these fingers dry so we got one noise i wish i would have been able to use one noise today but it just didn't really go with my look one noise is a little bit patchy to me um Lynn, 1985. This is Mogul, which I use today. Mogul is beautiful. Mogul and to see Mogul, that was a good, to say, y'all, okay. For this kind of purple shade to be this pigmented, that is craziness. And then we have Self Made. Okay. I cannot believe there's not a shade named Shade on here. Like next five, we have dog mom a shade near and dear to my heart <laughs> dog mom oh it's a little chalky i don't know if y'all just saw that chunk fall off dog mom honest truth these shade names are insane um designer label i'm sorry my nails are so ratchet today designer label okay mr diva his oranges are amazing in this palette let me just the oranges and the bright pink for me sell this palette and then boss angeles which is yeah, Boss Angeles I used today. I never had an orange matte show up like that on my eye. All right, so next we got Pink Fleet. Which again, if you look Pink Fleet and Self Made and um, oh, what is this color? I use it like so many times, Mogul. They're all really similar. Like their color story is very, very similar. I'm not mad at it. I just want to make that clear because, you know, Jeffrey sometimes goes in on people for using the same shades repetitively. And I just think there's a lot of shades 
and this palette that look very, very similar. So Calabasas, very pretty kind of wine color red. But this is Don't Know Her. I'm, I'm holding it too far, I'm sorry. Rolls with it, rolls being R-O-L-L-S, live for it. Beautiful, this is Millions, which is the main color I have on my eye right now. So yeah, that's a, it's a very glittery shade. It's gorgeous though, the swatch. Is amazing. It doesn't ca carry that well to me on the eye, but it is. And the reason I'm switching back and forth, every time I swatch, I have to go back and clean my fingers off so that the colors don't mix or anything. And uh, I need them to dry before I stick my hand into, uh, huh, this is funny. So this is a shade that's named, I say this all the time. Like they used to make fun of me at, at work for this. This shade is called Girl girl is what i used to girl what's the t another phrase i use all the time this is room room mm, room room is pretty it looks more like a black on the it's like a a really deep it's like a really deep gray but it almost gives like a taupe vibe to it too i don't know this is custom rims oh Custom Rims may be my unsung hero of this uh, palette. Custom Rims. Ooh. Glam Rapids. Oh, that's so cute. Glam Rapids. I love that all these names are named after things that are important to him. Like, you know, Glam Rapids from Michigan, where Nate is from. You know, um, Rolls With It, Mr. Diva. All these names. Like, I think, is it Mr. Diva, one of his little doggies? Diva might have passed. No, it was Diamond and Daddy that passed away. I cannot imagine, y'all. Oh my God, that's horrible. All right, so we got Wake and Bake. We know that's near and dear to Jeffrey's heart. This is like avocado-y. I would have named it guacamole, but you know. Nate. Oh, I feel sad watching Nate now that they broke up. I loved the two of them as a couple like that. Freaking sucks. This is drive through. Drive through. I'm also wearing today. Drive through is beautiful, huh? Gorgeous. And then we have Hi Dude, pretty normal brown, chocolate brown, and uh, Fast Lane. Oh, Fast Lane's. That might actually just be my finger. I don't know if that's the color that did that. So, these are all of the 36 swatches. Reminder this is a $35 palette. So, like having that amount of shades for that amount of dollars 30 shades okay so we got 30 shades 30 shades for 35 dollars shades like this for 35 dollars is insane i will admit that that is freaking crazy so as far as the morphe by jeffree star palette is concerned i love this palette it is beautiful i want to keep it out on my desk because i like the pink it is a cardboard. I love the changes that they made to Morphe. Like literally only Jeffree Star could come through and change the entire format of Morphe's palettes. This mirror, the shade names being on the actual pan, if you can't see it, insane. I love it so, so, so much. I will give this shade four out of five stars now. The only reason I'm not giving it four out of five, I mean, five out of five stars is because I really wanted this palette for the shade Millions, which is the color I am wearing on my eyelid now this is how it's swatched i wanted the swatch to be how it appeared on my eye and that swatch i just went up and down in the pan smeared it across i applied it with my fingers i applied it with a brush i applied it with all kind of other stuff and it just didn't do this like i wanted it to here like y'all can see the difference right yeah it's beautiful don't get me wrong it's beautiful this will definitely be a saint's look for last season next season i feel like this is a great introduction for me to Jeffree Star. I love the formulas. I love the packaging. Again, Millions is the only issue I have. And I will say, looking at it here, the shimmers show up way better as swatches. Look at this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. The shimmers show up way better as swatches than they do on the eye. I don't know why that is. Usually it's the other way around, but I don't know. I just don't know. So, Thank you so much for watching this edition of First Impression Fridays. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that, you're welcome to um, hit me up in the comment section below, or you can also um, hit me up on social media, which is always the last slide. Thank you so much for watching again. 
for this First Impression Friday. I'll see you next time. Bye.